All right, we have one of my favorite games here, Crazy Taxi High Roller. This is the sequel to the very popular Crazy Taxi. And it's definitely a better sequel than the original just because it includes the same... It includes the original Crazy Taxi as one of the three places that you can drive around. And then I think it adds New York City and Las Vegas. It also adds jumping, which is something that was not in the uh, first one. Um, there's actually a lot of depth, a lot of more stuff added to High Roller. For one thing, you can pick up more than one person at a time. You can pick up, I think, up to four passengers and take them to four different places. So it's really a fun game. Um, I would never sell this in a million years if it was my only one, but as luck would have it, I have several of these. So this is the first one to go. This is just a project one I picked up at an auction quite a while ago and plan to restore it. Um, and I just, as you know, I'm running out of time and too many projects, so it's just got to go as is. This is pretty much how I got it. Um, it, let's see. I'll, well, I'll just go around and show you everything. I mean, obviously, it's it's it appears to be complete. The controls are here. It's missing the coin max. I can throw in coin max if you care. Cash box is here. The bolts are here for bolting. I've just got the seat pushed up here. It's all on wheels, but I got the seat detached to make it easier to move. But I've got these. These are the metal brackets that connect the seat on both sides, and the bolts to connect them are in that coin box. It's got the pedals down there, and then. In the back here, we've got the original back door, lock and key. There's your serial number tag. Of course, that's pretty obvious this is dedicated. Um, this uses the Naomi GD-ROM system. Um, let's see. And it looks like it's all there. I haven't really done anything to this. I know it didn't work when I bought it. Um, monitor's not even hooked up. Um, let's look and make sure that the DV, that the it has the disc in it because this is one of those that loads off of the DV, the GD ROM they call it. It's really a DVD ROM, but just make sure it's got the disc in it because that would be an important component. Although I'm sure it's available on eBay. Yep, it's got the disc. Crazy Taxi High Roller. But I also know that somebody out there has come out with some, I think even a multi-game that you just plug in instead of this GD-ROM. But if not a multi-game, at least they've come up with something that replaces this GD-ROM drive. Because yeah, I'll, I'll be honest, these GD-ROMs are notorious for going out on you. And then you've got to either get it fixed, get a new motor, um, or... We get you just get a used one on eBay that's working. I've bought many, many of them over the years on eBay to fix ones that were broken in games I had. Um, but yeah, there is a solution to replace that. Um, I really don't feel like trying to figure out how to hook all this stuff up to, to try and to see what it's doing. Just assume it's not working in every possible way. I'm just, I'm running out of time here. I'm I was supposed to start the auction today, and I still have like 30 more pieces to process, so it's getting down to the wire here, and we're just going to have to start moving faster, but hopefully that gives you enough information. Just assume it's all non-working. The monitor it looks, it says I tag, okay, this is a 2794, so that means it's a Wells Gardner 27-inch 9400, which is like the the sequel to the 9200. So it's a pretty good monitor. The 9200 was a it was a tri-mode monitor that would do CGA, EGA, and VGA. This will do the same, um, but it's an updated version of that monitor, which is probably good because the 9200 was a little bit problematic. Although when they work, man, do they have a nice picture. So... Um, that's about it. Thanks for your kind attention. We'll move on to the next one.